Okay, right on. Here we are reporting live from the Alberta Herb Gathering, where we have author Rob Rogers. How are you, young man? Hey, I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, really good. So you just did a very interesting lecture yesterday about mushrooms for memory. Yes. And um, I, it brought up a few questions for me. Okay. Thank you. And a big part of your lecture, of course, was about how these mushrooms are so good for memory because they bring down inflammation, eh? That's true. That's part of the picture, yes. It brings down the pain. Yeah, and they also increase new brain neurons that help also uh, help the brain activate and, and create new cells, yeah. So one of my questions was like, so how much do you think, by bringing down the inflammation, how much do you think that, well, that obviously is very good for the gut health too, right? The digestive tract. Well, the gut, gut health, if you have an inflamed gut, you also have health issues. And, and so, but our immune system has a way to modulate that. There's little, little uh, uh, tregs that I would call them. They're like little periscopes in your gut and they pop up through the mucous membrane and they look around and go, is that something that's going to be inflammatory? Is that something that's good for me? And then they make a decision so that the immune system either Redu uh, increases its production of anti-inflammatory uh, cytokines or it welcomes them to mm. rebuild the mucous membrane and health. So they're smart little periscopes. Yeah. And how much, so, well, of course you're familiar with the gut and brain connection, right? The Absolutely. gut and psychology syndrome. Uh, well, basically leaky gut, leaky brain are uh, two of the major reasons why we have a lot of health problems and uh, it's getting worse, for sure, yeah. And I find it fascinating, like reading in your fungal pharmacy about things like lion's mane being traditionally used for things like ulcers, eh? Yeah, the, you know, anything that is useful for uh, the polysaccharides, the water-soluble parts of mushrooms, they have the ability to actually increase the anti-inflammatory and then the mucous membranes of your gut, which are really thin, they're like micron mm. thin, if those get eroded and then create in, uh, damage, uh, mm -hmm. that, that can help get repaired. And I think that's super important, yeah. Because an ulcer is basically like a wound in your... It's, right, it's like a little divot right in your gut. And, uh, and a lot of people, and number one, for example, 100% of people who take aspirin, which is an anti-inflammatory, 100% of people get uh, stomach bleeds. Yeah, well, so, so there you go. Oh. And, that, and that's, a, that's an over-the-counter medication mm -hmm. that people don't even think twice about popping. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a problem. And then my other, um, my other question was about like, you know, a lot of the mushrooms you were talking about yesterday were like the button mushrooms and also the maitake mushrooms. How, how important do you think that is when you eat the actual mushrooms and they like go through your gut and you... You poop them out, right? Out, because they're famous for helping. The mushroom eating the mushrooms is famous for getting rid of evacuating stuff, right? Well, there is a fiber aspect, right? There's soluble mm -hmm. fiber that really helps uh, uh, help the stool be a little bit more the way it's meant to be. <laughs> but the other side is that our microbiome. If you have a healthy microbiome, mm -hmm. they take a lot of these. Uh, food sources, not just the polysaccharides, the beta-glucans, but others, and they change them into so, uh, short-chain fatty acids that really not only fuel our body, but also m keep our digestive system healthy. And I think that's super important, yeah. Yeah, okay, I got a joke for you, Rob Rogers. Yeah. Have you heard about the mushroom that was terribly constipated? No. He had a very um, painful shit achy. <laughs> well, <laughs> shiitake happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, right on, Rob Rogers. Well, um, yeah, we're, I guess we'll look forward to what you're up to next. I know... Um, well, my next is that people can look up. I, I got fascinated by lichens. And mm -hmm. lichens, of course, are uh, part fun symbiont. Part fungi. Part fungi, part algae. In fact, my joke, my favorite joke of that is Annie Algae and Freddie Fungus got together and then they mm -hmm. got married. 
Mm -hmm. But now it's on the rocks. Oh. It's on the rocks. <laughs> they had taken a liking to each other, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a lot of those. But anyways, that book's coming out in the spring. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Such powerful allies out there. Okay, right on. Well, um, I suppose we'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you, Danny. <laughs>